Kerry and Mayo will do it all again next Saturday after a pulsating 2-14-2-14 All-Ireland semi-final at a wet Croke Park. The miserable conditions didn't stop some superb play from both teams, and it was a Paddy Durkin score in the third minute of injury time that forced the replay. Kerry substitute Brian Sheehan had the chance to win it with a free in the last minute, but it fell short and the ref blew the whistle on an absorbing content. Mayo manager Stephen Rochford put Aidan Mosey on Kieran Donaghy and the brief E-man marshalled the Austin Stacks forward well throughout the game. The Connacht side opened the scoring with a great goal in the fourth minute. A long ball in wasn't cleared properly, and Andy Moran ripped the net with a shot, leaving Brian Kelly in the carry goals no chance. Jason Doherty pointed for Mayo two minutes later, and Kerry was shell-shocked. It took them until the ninth minute to get the white flag raised when Paul Genie, who was fantastic throughout, kicked over a free. However, by the 14th minute, they were level. Some lovely play by Donaghy resulted in Stephen O'Brien collecting the ball and beating David Clark in the Mayo goals. Kerry then went two points up, but Mayo hit 1-2-3 before Kerry got their next score. First Andy Moran hit a great score and a few minutes later, Colm Boyle zigzagged his way through the carry defence before slotting it by Kelly. Cillian O'Connor hit over a point immediately after that, and it was suddenly Mayo who were three points in the lead. Kerry manager Eamon Fitzmaurice took Michael Genie off and put Jack Savage on, but it wasn't stopping Mayo. They had a great chance for another goal in the 22nd minute, but Andy Moran's second effort came off the foot of a carry back and looped over the post instead of into the net. The Mayo supporters were in heaven at this point, and when a long ball was pumped in for Donaghy, as he got there first and the roar around Croke Park was deafening. By half-time though, Kerry had pulled the gap back, and both teams went in with a score line Mayo 2-05-1-08 Kerry. Fitzmaurice made two more changes at half-time, with Jonathan Line coming on for Mark Griffin and Jack Berry on for Anthony Mayer. Mayo was still dominating though, and they added four more points before Kerry got another goal to level the game again. A great run from David Moran resulted in an excellent save from Clark, but Buckley was on hand to slot the rebound into the net from a tight angle. Clark was again called into action to make a good save from Berry in the 53rd minute with Kerry a point up. Andy Moran was having an excellent game in left corner forward, and he leveled the game again with 14 minutes to go, and it was neck and neck after that until Paul Murphy got a crucial score for Kerry in the last minute of normal time. However, the referee indicated at least five minutes of injury time, and with just under four of those gone, Durkin picked up a pass from Donald Foreman and hit the equalizer. Kerry did have a chance to win it when substitute Sheehan stood over a free just outside the 45-yard line, but it was short and rifted right. That was the last action in the replay with B next Saturday back in Croke Park. Kerry, B Kelly, S N Wright, M Griffin, K Young, 0 to 1, P Crowley, T Morley, P Murphy, 0 to 1, D Moran, Ameha, M Genie, J Buckley, 1 to 0, S O'Brien, 1 to 0, P Genie, 0 to 7, 4 F, K Donaghy, 0 to 1, J O Donau, 0 to 3, 2 F. Subs, J Savage for M Genie 21 meters, J Berry for Mayher and J Line for Griffin, H slash T, D O Sullivan for Buckley 54 meters, B J Keen, 0 to 1, 4 O Donig 62 meters, B Sheehan for Donaghy 73 meters Mayo, D Clark, D Harrison, D Vaughan, 0 to 1. K Higgins, L Keegan, C Barrett, C Boyle, 1 to 0, S O She. T. Parsons, 0-2-2, K. McLaughlin, Oroshi, D. O'Connor, J. Doherty, 0-1, C. O'Connor, 0-4, 0, 1 F, Amoran. 1-5. Subs, P. Durkin, 0-1, for Boyle 43 meters, S. Cone for S. Oshi 58 meters, D. Drake for D. O'Connor 67 meters, C. Loftus for Doherty 74 meters referee, M. Deacon, Leois.